Hi, boys and girls. You know how much I love animals. I'm always traveling with my wife to different parts of the world looking for really interesting animals. And one animal in particular that I have uh, always loved from the time I was a little kid is the monarch butterfly. And I found the best story about monarch butterflies that I've ever seen. And I want to share it with you. It's called Butterfly Wishes. Butterfly Wishes. So I story hope you like by it. Frank Lou. Illustrations by the Marna Twins. Butterfly Wishes. Story by Frank Lou. Illustrations by the Marna Twins. Butterfly Wishes. Monarch Butterfly. Monarch Butterfly. Elzine was a special monarch butterfly who lived in a beautiful meadow of pink milkweed flowers near the Great Lakes. She felt very much at home here because she could flitter over her whole meadow visiting places where her mother and grandmother had once lived. Elzine was a kind and caring butterfly who more than anything else in the world wanted to help others. Elzine spent all day zigzagging over the meadow, gathering food from the colorful flowers. Her delicate beauty made people happy when she landed on their heads. She made babies stop crying, dogs wag their tails, and grumpy old men kiss their wives. However, Elzine wished she could do much more for people. One day, Elzine landed on a little boy who had lost his dog. The boy was very, very sad and did not become happy even when she landed on his nose. He was afraid he would never see his dog again. Elzine did not know what to do. Then something wonderful happened. Elzine landed on the frightened boy's finger. The little boy gazed straight into Elzine's eyes and made a wish for his dog. Elzine was so excited that she quickly unrolled her long, curly tongue, making a loud zip-zap-zip zip sound, and zapped himself on the nose. Almost immediately, the boy's trembling little dog scampered from the woods. To Elzine's surprise, the boy's wish had come true. That day, Elzine realized she was blessed with special powers to grant wishes for zapping people with her long tongue. However, there was one condition. The wishes only came true for people if they were for others, not for themselves. Elzine quickly visited the nearby towns to try out her new power. The loud sounds of zip, zap, zip, zap, zip, zap, zip, zap, zip were heard as she gave away many wishes to many people. Elzine found a new feeling of happiness from helping people. Well, some people, they couldn't figure out why their wishes didn't come true. One person wished for a million dollars. He didn't get a million dollars because he was wishing for something for himself, not for others. One of the best wishes Elzine granted was to a little girl who was very concerned about her father's health. Because she loved her father very much, she wished he would exercise more. Elzine was overjoyed to grant this wish to the little girl. All summer long, Elzine granted many wishes. Zip zap, zip zap, zip zap, zip zap, zip zap, zip zap, was the most common sound heard all over her territory. In fact, she gave away so many wishes, her tongue got sore.
as fall came, the weather became colder and the nectar on the flowers was hard to find. Helzine felt a strange urge to move further south to a warmer place where she would not freeze. She was so excited to join many other migrating monarch butterflies who had the same feeling, the same instinct. What should she do? The wind was getting colder. The weatherman said that it might even snow tonight. I think it was time for Elzine to leave and go south. As other monarch butterflies were leaving the Great Lakes area, the group grew bigger and bigger and bigger until there were thousands of butterflies flying south toward the warmer parts of the United States and Mexico. The butterflies would glide and cruise all day, but at night they floated down to earth to feed on the nectar of the flowers below. They gave Elzine a chance to use her magic powers on people in a different country like the United States. Granting wishes made her feel good. Elzine was very, very happy and helpful too. Bye, Elzine. Bye from the United States. Soon the monarch butterflies grew into the millions as they traveled into the country of Mexico below the United States, very close to the warm part of the earth. Elzine took time along the way to grant wishes to the friendly Mexican people too. Zip zap, zip zap, zip zap. She did that in Spanish with her tongue. The musical sound of zip zap, ole, zip zap, ole made everyone dance in the streets. Happy but tired, the flutters of butterflies stopped when they reached their winter home. It was in the hills of El Rosario. Let me say that again. It was in the hills of El Rosario Monarch Butterfly Sanctuary near Mexico City. El Rosario, Mexico. Many millions of monarchs gathered in huge sparkling clusters on the branches of the rare Oyemel tree. Oyemel. Oyemel tree. I hope I'm saying Oyemel. That. At night, Alzine snuggled in with the growing layers of weary butterflies to keep warm. Right on the branches of the Oye Mel tree, the blazing orange branches bent toward the ground with the heavy weight of thousands and thousands of butterflies. Each day when the sun came out, the resting butterflies would stir from the branches and soar into the high sky. Their wings made a loud brushing sound. They looked like a million golden stars reaching up into the heavens. It was a breathtaking sight. How beautiful. Months passed and the days became warmer, making the flutters of butterflies more active. On Valentine's Day in February, Elzine joined the world of spiraling mariposas, where she quickly found a handsome mate, a boyfriend for Elzine. Soon Elzine was overwhelmed by another strange feeling to move onward. This time the direction was north, back, back to Canada, back to the Great Lakes area near the T CN Tower in the city of Toronto. Many, many, many butterflies felt the same way. They all wanted to return back to their home where they were born. So the monarchs left Mexico and headed for southern United States in search of the nearest milkweed patch. That was north. Each female butterfly could lay up to 600 yellow eggs on the underside of the milkweed plant, on the underside of their leaves of the milkweed plant. Elzine did not understand why some people called the milkweed plant a bad, noxious weed and why they wanted to kill it or destroy it. Without the milkweed plant, monarch butterflies would have no food and they'd become extinct. They would be gone forever. Well, 
In a few days, the eggs hatched into extremely hungry little caterpillars who immediately started eating their own eggshells for their first meal. And from then on, milkweed would be their only source of food. Elzine watched with pride as her children ate so much milkweed they outgrew their skin four times and became 3,000 times heavier. Each full-grown caterpillar formed a chrysalis, or a cocoon, where it slept for several days before hatching into an adult butterfly. The attractive chrysalis was a pale jade green color, studded with gold. Elzine remembered how excited she was when she emerged from her chrysalis as a beautiful monarch butterfly. And when each radiant butterfly hatched out of its chrysalis, its wings quickly filled with fluid and were stretched out in the warm sun to dry. And at last, the newly hatched monarch butterflies, the monarchs, were ready to follow their instincts by flying north toward Elzine's summer home in Canada, near the Great Lakes. Elzine's children were the same as other butterflies, except for one important trait. Her children inherited the special gift that she had, the zip-zap-zip zip gift, the magic gift that she could give people and grant their wishes. Zane beamed with joy when she thought of the thousands of possible good wishes that could be granted by her children. She felt very blessed because her wonderful powers would live on and on and on through her family, making this a better world for everyone. Her dream was coming true. The deafening sound of zip, zap, zip, zap, zip, zap, zip was heard in Canada. It was heard in the United States. And it was heard in Mexico. Everyone, everyone were thrilled by the monarch butterfly's special, special powers. Elzine's children laid many more eggs, which changed into precious little beautiful monarch butterflies, and each one inherited the amazing ability to grant zip-zap-zip zip wishes, just like their mothers before them. She had done her very best to make others happy. She was very tired. Her wings were faded and were torn, but Elzine had no regrets. Her life was finally complete. The next time you see a monarch butterfly or are lucky enough to have one land on you, make a wish. But make sure, make sure it's a wish not for yourself, but for someone else. It could be one of Elzine's children that landed on you or one of her great-grandchildren and your butterfly wish will come true for sure. The world will be a better place. Common sulfur butterfly, or maybe you'll notice the cabbage white butterfly, the tiger swallowtail butterfly, the morning cloak butterfly. There was the red admiral butterfly in the book. And don't forget to look for the painted lady butterfly. And one of my favorites, the red viceroy butterfly was in the book and the monarch butterfly looks very much like the viceroy butterfly, but it's not. It's different. So have fun. Watch for those monarch butterflies around Halloween fluttering around your um, streets. And remember, they'll be heading south to the, to the United States and to Mexico where it's warm, where they can make babies and then come back map of Canada where they started in Toronto and then you can see the arrows and they traveled through the United States and into Mexico way down here to El Rosario Monarch Butterfly Sanctuary near Mexico City. That's, they, they went all thousands and thousands of kilometers. I don't know how they did it. Boy oh boy they must have strong wings and they must really know how to get there. Puzzling, isn't it? Here's Frank Liu, the man who wrote the story. And here are the, the illustrators, Marlene and Myra O'Brien, the twin sisters. They made the pictures. Well, I hope you liked that story about the monarch butter butterfly. And you know, Frank Liu and the uh, Marna twins, the ladies who made the pictures, 
They hid some other butterflies, not monarchs, but other ones, in the colored pictures all the way through. So when you get this book from the public library, remember it's called Butterfly Wishes. When you get it, um, look through the pictures carefully and see if you can spot these other butterflies.